files and one is the current file here like this. All of you did you get the point guys why everything is connected now. File concepts, copy book concept and a tool concept. I want all of them guys. If you're not practicing guys, please don't scold me that I'm not training you properly. Once you do practice guys, you don't need to do hundreds of program guys. I'm giving you enough time. OK, I'm giving you enough time guys. Yesterday you, I gave the programs for compilation only. Today I'm asking you to execute with a copy book guys. So not much programs to type half an hour guys. 45 minutes you are busy. I know but at least you can spend 30 to 45 minutes to learn something new. Put your fingers into the system guys. Don't go blindly into the project. You will lose your jobs guys. I'll tell you it's not like the case what happened before of two years in COVID where you are working from home guys. The story is completed. The story changed guys. Now every company knows that there are a lot many fake people in the company and that is affecting the project. And they all want to reduce their in uh, pro the operation. Uh, what you say because of the implementation or because of the uh, fear of recession or because of the project uh, escalation scenarios, whatever you call it, guys. Every company is doing a layoff in a silent way. They are not highlighting that at a time they will remove 3000 people or 10,000 people, guys. They are silently removing one or two people from each project without telling anyone else. Only the HR is knowing that a lot of people are getting losing their jobs, not the project inside people. Manager, OK, if I'm the manager, I can see in my 10 people uh, there is one person who did not do properly, so I'll remove only one person. The manager is thinking that in the whole company only one person left the uh, job. It's not like that. Every manager case is different in each project in each application. They are removing one or two people directly guys. One of the strong reason is those people do not show their skill guys. That's one of the strong reason. The second reason is their background verification has left in them blank because they have did something in the COVID time and that is not available now. OK, during 18 or 19 or 19 or 20 job scenario, they put some fake uh, companies guys that they no, no longer exist. OK, generally in a uh, fake document story, what happens is uh, a particular person will set up a company, guys. He will register that company. He will maintain that company for one year or two years, guys. And then he start uh, allocating these fake certificates saying that we are there in this company for two years and such things. After one year, guys, they will leave the company because uh, the documents will the, one of the other company they put it in the blacklist. The company they put it in a blacklist, guys. As and when they know this company is in blacklist, they'll remove that board and they will reinitiate with another company name, guys. That's what the business is. I've been into this uh, story for last 20 years, guys. I know how the background verification will work. How know how these companies will use the fake certificates and how much they charge. Also, I know, guys. So the people who kept the fake certificates for 2020 guys, those companies are no longer existing now. So if I do a verification today about those people guys, those companies has not even existing. So that is one of the reason why the people are getting relieved from the project. So this is one of the reason guys, but again, if you are capable of doing work in your project guys, even if you are a fake document having in your system guys still you can continue your work this is a very tricky situation guys getting a job is easy guys okay i've been telling this for my almost 10 years i'm telling this one guys i have seen hundreds and thousands of people getting the job guys and also seen similar number of people losing the job as well I've seen all the cases, guys. I have seen many cases. Every day I'll be getting a lot of calls with different, different stories, different, different situations, different, different uh, suggestions asking, guys. I will tell you one thing. You can get a job very easily, guys. Even without my training, even without my help, even anybody's help, guys, you can still get a job. If you have little money in this, somebody can do a fake interview for you and they can put you in the job. But believe me, that is not the story. Getting a job is not the story, guys. The story starts after you get the job. How much work you can do, how much competition you can take, how much pressure from the project you can handle, how much you can communicate with your team, how much you can communicate with your SME, 
how much salary you are drawing at the end of 30 days. These are the real stories, guys. Getting a job is not the story. I'm not training you anywhere related to the job interview, guys. In this whole training so far, what we covered, I'm trying to see that, OK, if I'm a fresher, I'm giving a two plus experience and I join a company. If I'm a developer, what are my works will be? If somebody asked me to create a copy book, how I need to do? You come to my notepad, you'll find the steps. Do the steps a little bit slowly. Do the steps a little bit slowly because you are new to the project. Your fingers will not work fast. When you code a COBOL program, what happens? You'll make mistake, guys. How do I solve my mistake, Anil? That's what the training was doing for you. That is the training I'm giving you guys. In the interview, let me ask you, in the interview, will they ask you syntax mistakes, guys? In the interview, will they ask you syntax mistakes? No, right? Never. They will never ask you, Anil, how do you solve a syntax mistake? But why we are training it? Because I'm not training you for the interview, guys. I'm trying to put you in a project. If I'm a two plus experience candidate and go for a project and write a program, 110% I'll make mistakes. Now, how do I solve it? Should I go ask my lead? Should I ask my team member to solve my mistakes? No, I cannot do that. My uh, lead will know that I don't have an experience. My team member will know that I don't have an experience. Okay, should I call Anil and ask for help? Anil told he will not help. Who is there then? Nobody is there with you. Should I ask my cousin? You do a call to your cousin, guys. I'll bet it at this point he will never help you. You may say that my brother is in mainframe. I can ask him. I bet, guys, he'll only say that what you did during the training part. He will also not help you, guys. The only one who can help you, guys, is this training. And you skip this fellow training, guys. I bet you, guys, you're in a wrong place. You are in a wrong place. You're not doing practice, guys. That's the one that I want to scold you for. OK, I'm taking these words just to make sure that you type the programs, guys. IT guys, you are in a software field and if you don't know how to write a program, guys, then you are not a developer. If I'm a chef, if I don't know how to cook, guys, I'm not a chef there. If I'm a driver, guys, and I don't know how to drive, guys, then I'm not a driver itself there. Similarly here, if you are in IT people, OK, you are a developer, then you need to know how to code. And if you don't know how to code a program, guys, then you are not a developer and your resume doesn't say anything like that. So start doing the practice, guys. This is still there is a time. Files are the starting point of the real code, guys. If you have not practiced my previous technical code, if you have not practiced my technical concepts earlier, guys, you still have time, guys. You can still start typing today itself. You can write these programs. You can copy paste them. You make a mistake. You do a solution. And you know, guys, I'm there for you in the training time. I'm there for you to solve your mistake, guys. I've been doing for all other people who are having the practicing. If you're not practicing, guys, please start doing it at least now. This is the last minute of classes, guys. We are COBOL is one of the primary thing that you need to learn. OK, so I want the screenshots. OK, let me tell you the same thing. I want the screenshot of the files that you have created using the copy book. I don't want you simply say that in a message that I completed the task. I don't believe you. OK, I don't at all believe you guys that you completed the task. I you need to prove me that. And how do you prove it? Send me the screenshot such a way that I don't need to ask you that you did out or not. OK, so tomorrow guys we will be dealing with the most important point of the training related to the data handling, memory saving, data security and other topics that will come into picture. Don't miss your classes for any simple reasons, guys. If it is a highly important reason that you are skipping the class, check the recording for next day. Don't come blindly to my class, guys. It won't help you. OK, so we'll discuss this more on the classes, guys. Please be according to me. I'm the trainer here. Please follow my instruction till the end of the training. After two months, guys, you can do whatever you want. OK, after my training, guys, you can take your self decision in any case. But now I'm the trainer here. I'm the one who has to instruct you and you need to follow it as it is. 
you might be senior to me you might be junior to me it doesn't matter guys the training position i am the trainer here you are the student to me so please follow the instructions believe me guys i have seen many people's lives so far in this it world and i'm saying you don't waste your time don't waste your time guys you can see my whatsapp status as well giving you the right directions how you need to plan your career as well so come back to the class tomorrow and we'll discuss more about the new stories